end recording. Nope, he partially blocked it, but that's okay, because I'm going to fucking shoot him because he's an asshole. <laughs> I could have overkilled a goddamn boss, so but close. fucking partial block bullshit. Well, apparently he survived getting shot. <laughs> yeah. I'm mildly disappointed by it. <laughs> Hobo. <laughs> Imagine if this wheelbarrow hadn't broken, then he'd be beating you with a wheelbarrow full of hobos. <laughs> I know, right? Golden hair, combat trophy. I don't want to be holding that. <laughs> what? You took his hair? Look, I just did what everybody was thinking. I wasn't thinking that. Were you thinking that? Absolutely. I always shear my kills. <laughs> shear them? What? Are you going to make a sweater? Have we been, like, shearing the hobos every time we beat them? No, we've been scalping them. Fair enough. <laughs> I think I just accepted that I was the crazy one around here. This is, in some ways, a relief. <laughs> Alright, inactive robot. Giant robot clue. It's not a random a box. Random box. It's not a random box. No, it doesn't look very popular. Oh, it's hitting that back there, not what I was ah. clicking on the table. Alright then. On switch. Right. For... Nah. I think for this. Stand there idly flicking it. I think it was for this. This large, durable looking apparatus has a prominent plaque which reads Stampex 7 Industrial Beef Stamper. Guess what we're gonna do with this, Hugh? Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> Delicious. La Marche de Hobo. <laughs> Examine Stampex 7 Industrial Beef Stamper. This intimidating chunk of equipment is surprisingly straightforward in its operation. A large slot adorns the front, labeled Meat In. A large button reads Stamp. Feed slabs of hobo meat into Stamp X7. You force hunk after hunk of moist hobo meat through the clanking device, until a deep pile of processed hobo beef lies steaming on the floor. Heiko leans over to pick one up. Hmm. Across the I otherwise... Across the otherwise featureless surface, the word delicious now fe figures prominently. Yeah, this is basically McDonald's. We've we've just invented McDonald's. Wonderful. We're part of the bureaucracy now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Gotta get back to Gerard. Gotta get back to him. With this hobo meat. Yes. With this delicious, delicious hobo meat. Ho beef, as it's now called. <laughs> that could come from something entirely different. I know, right? <laughs> the fucking. I have this mental image of like a 70s pimp and a woman with a very large posterior. <laughs> Look I'm at. not gonna continue that thought. Look at that ho beef! <laughs> So Look at that bitch's hoe beef. It's okay. It's okay. I am not afraid to take the punches for you, Hugh. <laughs> yeah, but I'm British. We make fun of your country often enough as it is. We make fun of your country as well. Yeah, but we know it's not true. So. <laughs> it's okay. We do as well. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Messed that up. Uh, 80 damage isn't bad for partial. Oh, yeah. I missed yeah, like one button. <laughs> yeah. It's the finisher. Just always, you know, hit him with a rake. Rake? Pretty dangerous, really. Uh, they can be, man. You know that from experience, as you told us. Yeah. But no, I mean, 
the kind of rate she's got is just like a row of spikes. Yeah. I'm surprised it's not classed as a weapon. <laughs> what was I watching? I was watching something, might have been a cutscene for a game or a movie, where a load of farmers were complaining that they couldn't do anything to defend themselves. It's like, you've got weapons everywhere! <laughs> what weapons? We're just farmers! You're surrounded by sharp implements! Yeah, but they're not rifles, obviously. When I hit someone with a rake and they'll probably think twice about coming after you again. No, that's... I mean, that's one of the things... I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this. I am very much against the NSA. Well, sort of. I don't like them constantly getting in the way of uh, gun laws. You mean the NRA? NRA, thank you. The NRA. Thank you. I'm against the NSA as well, but... What is the NSA? Uh, National Security Agency. Okay. I am against the NSA as well. That's everybody. right. That's right. Yes, I am against the NSA as well. Yes. But um my problem with the NRA is like <laughs> the late the last time a school got attacked by a madman and there and he had military grade weapons thanks to the NRA. And their yeah. response was we need armed militiamen patrolling the, our school halls. I'm just like, yes. Yes, because I want guns. No, no, not teachers. Citizens. Normal, everyday citizens. Armed weapons in a school. Well, yeah, but there was a bill, like, a month ago about giving teachers weapons. That I can sort of understand. I would I'm be fine. Well, personally, but there we go. Uh, yes and no. I think it would depend largely on the teacher. Uh, I am okay yeah, with giving. I know, I know. I am okay with giving the more responsible teachers, like a taser, or be, or at least allowing them to have pepper spray, something like that. But once again, but I do agree with you. We can't vet everyone, and there's too many that would abuse the shit out of that. Right, exactly. But why in the hell would I want to give military-grade weapons, even non-military-grade weapons, to trigger-happy redneck fucks, or just, you know, nervous people in general, in a school where fights break out all the time? I'm just constantly confused by the NRA's idea that gun control means removing all weapons. England has gun control, and every farmer on the in the entire country has a shotgun and a rifle. Yeah, Multiple and for once, in fact. I heard on Facebook when this was a really big issue, I heard someone on Facebook going, "I want to make sure that I've got a gun that can do the job." I'm sorry, a 9mm Glock can do the job. The point isn't exactly. the point isn't necessarily killing the person that's attacking you, even though you may have to. The point is disarming them and making sure that they can't keep coming after you so shoot them in the legs well shoot them anywhere and they'll probably stop yeah shoot them anywhere you don't, you don't have to do it with an assault rifle or any firearm will probably put someone down as I said a 9mm Glock will do the job just fine you don't need an AR-15 to protect yourself you do not. To be perfectly honest, though, my biggest issue is not with firearms in general, like assault rifles and that sort of thing. It's concealed weapons that I have an issue with. Yeah, that if too. If you have to wear the weapon openly, then everyone knows where they stand. But if everyone could be hiding one somewhere legally, then not only everybody will be nervous, but then you've got the fact that the police can't tell what's going on either. Because yeah. they've got to keep an eye on everyone just in case. Yeah. That just seems like a generally roundabout way of doing things. Instead of, let's not let people hide guns, let's give everybody a hidden gun. Yeah, and then, like, store rules in general. I'm glad that stores do this. Any store you go into, it doesn't matter whether you have a concealed weapons permit or not. You bring a gun into their store, you will be arrested. Period. Good. Not yeah. Approval. Yeah. Do the same for schools. Yeah. Anyway, right. let's let's give hobo beef to this person. <laughs> uh, 
the kettles are low. Without more certified meats, I don't know what I'll do. Yo, I've got meat for days. Here you go, Gerard. Heaps of fresh, certified, you know, meat. I'll be the judge of that. It says delicious right on it. That sets my mind at ease. Let's get this charity meat into the pot. <laughs> That's, um, that could be taken many ways. All right, who's hungry? No, we're good. We're really good. <laughs> Dish that shit off. <laughs> Taste slightly of wet felt, but the wet felt, but the warmth goes deep. Renewed vigor from a dark source. Plus fifty to the player's health. Wow. Yep. <laughs> I wonder what I've I wonder what I've would have gotten if I said no thanks. I don't know. Probably nothing. Hungry. More hobos! Alright, so as soon as we get back to Anne Claire's, we will end this video off. Alright then. Plank you very much. Uh huh. Oh, he's not lying down. Okay, never mind. Wrong plank. <laughs> no, 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 not planking. <laughs> Apparently, some idiot decided to do that on a rail track. <laughs> Gee, I can't imagine what the result was. Mm, exactly. Suffice to say, the news reporters on the subject were not particularly sympathetic. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think the Darwin Award got a new entry. <laughs> <laughs> he thank you, Natural Selection, for doing your job. Well, when we don't have predators anymore, we've got to find some way to get Natural Selection going. <laughs> yeah. I mean, human stupidity, it's just Natural Selection, folks. Yeah, it is at this point. Yeah. I mean, I'm of the opinion that humans are going one of two ways. Either we'll all become sociopaths because sociopaths survive better in this society, or we'll all become really empathic people who actually gel together and make a good community for the sake of making a good community, not for their own ends, which will survive as well. You sound somewhat disappointed with that option, Hugh. <laughs> 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 I can see the value of it, but then on the other hand, sociopaths just do it. On the other hand, I am hearing some little voice deep in your mind going, that's not fun. <laughs> yeah, there is that. But on the one hand, we could help each other, or on the other hand, I could, like, rule my own little kingdom. <laughs> uh, which to choose? <laughs> Uncle, you look afraid. Age. Hi, child. It's the very bone. Let's see. I have enough parts to upgrade now. Tycho's gun! I don't know if Tycho dyes his hair or if it's just flat out two-toned. I don't know. <laughs> what? No, it doesn't. My gun doesn't need upgrading? What are you talking about? Tycho, I didn't want to say anything, but... F2, Gabriel. Uncle, do you want a weapon that says sophistication? Greater sophistication, rather? Yes, but... Place the weapon in my care, Uncle. I will treat it with the proper reverence. That's it, good man. Now you may want to avert your eyes. And we turned it square. Oh, I wouldn't really call that sophisticated. <laughs> we have tuned it, it robotically. It looks like someone bolted a barrel and a stock onto a toaster. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what happened. We've returned with a prototype of the larger robot. It's Science Christmas! <laughs> she sits to work immediately, revolving the head several times and removing it straight upward. Uncle, the creator's name has been filed off, which is strange, but look here where it's marred. Its behaviors have been radically altered. I should be able to... I want a science Christmas there. now. There! And... Oh! The paint is pink. Someone please tell me why she is doing that. Somebody <laughs> please explain the last ten minutes. <laughs> Where am I? 
Painting robots is its own reward. I often do <laughs> things which I feel are entirely obvious, only to learn that I am the only one who thinks so. I apologize. I just thought you might like a new feels. friend. <laughs> Fuchsia, support character. The robot gets more powerful the more you use it. It explodes in little... It, it explodes in little rainbows, and as you continue using it, the explosion gets larger and larger until it, like, zooms out of the planet and you just see a massive rainbow. <laughs> wow, this sounds like fun. <laughs> what next? Are you absolutely certain there? Oh, right, Pelican Bay. Right, right. Anyway. All right, so time to save, and this has been Penny Arcade's On the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, Episode 1 with Canuda and Hugh. Thank you. More humping robots. <laughs> Thank you, Hugh, for joining me. You're welcome. And our conversations have been very enlightening and very funny. <laughs> enlightening. Yeah, enlightening. Yes, definitely. Anyway, have a good night, Hugh. Cheers. <laughs>